Hi, I'm Will, and I'm going to give you a fast and effective shoulder workout today here on the Geezer Guide to Better Living. This shoulder workout is called the Killer 7 because it will kill your shoulders if you do it correctly. So all you need is a couple of dumbbells or even some small hand weights. You don't have to do a lot, a lot of weight with this because you want to be able to do it fast and effectively. You don't want to overdo it with heavy weight because you will end up hurting your shoulder. So let's get started. If you haven't been working out, please consult with the doctor before you start any kind of exercise regimen. I like to wear a back brace or a swimming belt, something that's going to hold me in. I have a childhood hernia and I like to hold that in because I don't want it to get any bigger. Now we're going to start by rotating our rotator cup to warm up uh, before we start exercising. Always warm up lightly before and you can do more stretching afterwards. But always start lightly to tell your body, this is what we're going to do right now. It doesn't shock your body, but you just grab a weight and just start working out. You want to warm up first. The Killer 7 are four exercises done together without any rest in between. We're going to start with our front arm and shoulder extensions. We do seven to the front. Alternating on each arm. A little stretch in between and you go right into flies. Shoulder flies. You do seven of those. Make sure you breathe. And then we're going to do upward rows. We're going to do seven of those. Make sure you don't rock a lot. You're all right to move back and forth and sway, but do not rock to throw up the weight. That's why you want to start off with a very light weight. Now we're going to go overhead press. We'll do seven of those. And that's round one and we're going to do three more rounds with very little rest in between. Do not rest more than uh, two minutes in between the sets that you do. You're going to stretch in between for those minutes to make the shoulder be more pliable and ready for the next session. We're at the end of this session. Now we can take a rest for two minutes and get ready for round three. It's important when you do this exercise not to break the plane. And that means do not take the weight above your chin. I've seen people take the weight all the way above their head. And that way you are putting pressure on your socket. And they end up having to have uh, an operation to fix it. Same with this one. You do not break the planes that much. I go a little bit above the plane, but I do not take it too far out. I could take the weight a little further out, 
but I do not break the plane. When you do your shoulder press, make sure that you push from your shoulders. That way you end up with nice traps. I speeded up the video so it wouldn't be so long, but believe me, as I'm doing exercise, I am pausing and I'm squeezing my muscles as I am doing it. You want to make sure that you always have control of the weight. You do not want to sling it up and rock back and forth because all you're going to do is injure yourself. You want to make sure that you can place it in the upper position and pause, and you want to place it in the starting position and pause. So you want to have control from start to finish. Stretching is important before, after, and during your exercise. It helps to release the lactic acid in your body. And it also helps for you not to become blocky and not able to bend. You want to be able to not get muscle bound or to get blocky that you can't even touch your toes. This is a great routine to add to your regular shoulder workout because it will burn them and make them grow. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.